Hey, welcome to the Blended Learning Introduction, Module 1. Uh, today's objectives are to define blended learning and also identify the blended learning professional development platform, what it is, what we're going to be working with over the next couple modules. So we're going to actually start off with a definition of blended learning, give everybody a good sense of what it is and how it works. Um, in blended learning, students still learn, at least in part, in a supervised brick-and-mortar location away from home. So the school still has a place where there's face-to-face student-teacher interaction. Uh, what makes it blended is that at least part of the time, students learn using technology and at least some online delivery of content and instruction. I also want to emphasize in the definition that to really be blended learning, students have to be given some control over the time, place, path, and or pace that they move through the content. And it's that technology that makes this possible. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, outline for the next couple of modules. We just learned that blended learning is a combination between online learning and brick and mortar learning. Uh, but what we really need to do is look at some of the models that go with blended learning. I want to preface this with there are tons of different models out there. Uh, a lot of people have a lot of different opinions on what works. We tried to focus on the ones that we could see working here at our school. The first model is the rotation model, and it's made up of multiple submodels, but the two that we're going to look at are station rotation and a flipped classroom. The next model is our flex model, and then finally we'll go over online community model. 